perfect. Boom. What do we call that? Call it Scott Can't Pronounce Indian Names. Bob. Dot com. Sundar. You just, you have, you have fear of Indian yeah. names. Yeah. Because Sundar Pichai is an easy one. I know, but I'm going to screw it. I'm always sure I'm going to screw these things up. I see that name and I go, great. That one, you can just pronounce it the way it looks. Sundar but if it was Pichai. a sci-fi, if it was a sci-fi name like Maz Kanata, you wouldn't have any problem with it because you wouldn't be scared that you'd be mispronouncing a real person's name. So just think of it as a Star Wars character, Sundar right. Pichai. Do that. It would be fine. Star Wars totally a Star Wars character. So, um, he's that guy over in the corner in Moss Eisley. Yeah. Sundar Pichai. Um. Okay, wait. So, uh, titles, and then I need to know if you guys have seen the Jimmy Fallon acapella for Star Wars yet. Mm. Because if you haven't, it's just about the best. I've been watching it obsessively all day. But first, titles. Um, wow. Wide and shallow in the voting at Showbot.tv yeah. right now. Wide and shallow. Yeah. Philip saw the light. Hughes, your new friends. Uh, Google search Google. Google you. Um, Google. Some, Google. Your car bit me. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> hey, your car bit me. Pretty good. Hey. Hey. Right. Right. It's not my car. <laughs> you said Corrado. your car doesn't bite. Face boober. <laughs> oh, face boober. I get it. Oh, because of the. Got Facebook it. Facebook and Uber. Yep. Face boober. <laughs> Ludicrous litigiousness loses life. The Facebook of the internet. <laughs> uh, Hughes, your new friend. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Car chases dog. And then, of course, Hughes, your buddy. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're hunting drones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see some good ones. Much to do about a little bit. Ooh. Searching for 2015 seems to be uh, getting some popularity there. I'm a fan of Face Boober because it sounds gross. No. Really? Yeah. I don't. I feel like people won't watch the episode. They're like, ew. <laughs> What's I don't that see Boober? Face Boober. German. Yeah, it sounds like uh, some kind of plague symptom. Yeah, it does. It does sound yeah, like a plague symptom. Yeah, Face symptoms. Boobers, you know? Yeah. Face All boober. over his face. <laughs> okay, so while you're Especially doing that, uh, you really, really should watch. Uh, well, we didn't the, pick. What are we picking? Um, we're picking. Scott, I'm thinking. Um, I like the bit me one. I may be a little car. Car bit my face. It has some action. <laughs> it's got some action quality. Yeah. Goob Where is it? Goober. Oh. Goober. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. No, but I like no, it. No, but I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Makes no Things sense. Must not always make sense. Goober. But you have to put the little umlaut thing or whatever in the middle. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even. What does it apply to? What does it mean? It's, it's so stupid. <laughs> it doesn't. It's just funny. I don't even know what story it's supposed to be referring to because Google isn't doing Uber. I know it's. It doesn't technically make. Sense. So it doesn't apply to the show. No, that's all I'm saying. Doing like a, they're, they're, you just they're, like the fact that there you get to say the word Uber. Uber. Yes. And, yeah, and Google's maybe getting into an Uber-like business, maybe. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's what I was forgetting. We did talk about that. Yeah, a little bit. All right. But it's a stretch. I'll give you that. Okay, I put the link in the chat room. You should watch it. Oh, my gosh. I'm shipping books today. I'm so nervous. Yay! I can't wait to get my book. They're on their way. Actually, I don't think mine is. Well, soft covers are. The hard covers are not. Because I, I went hard cover. Yeah, okay. Did you really? Go hard cover or go home. Hell yeah, I did. It was nice. Actually, it was the same either way for us. It just cost you more. I don't mean that. No, what I mean is... <laughs> I 
I mean, our margin is I <laughs> is smaller. Like, yeah. Actually, less. Uh, yeah, less on the hardcovers, more yeah. on others. No, I get you. You know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, it does cost you more. Yeah, like quite literally, it costs me more money. Yep. But I'm still glad you're getting the hard one because I prefer you to have that. I can't. I'm going to put it on my hardback shelf with all my other hardbacks. It's going to look great. Nice. I'm never going to read it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the whole preserve thing that's it. Dedicated to Tom Merritt. I'm and never taking it out of the box. I'm just gonna... <laughs> so, what is this? The acapella Star Wars thing that you're making yeah, everybody watch? watch? Just watch it. I put the link in the chat. I can't room. watch it. Oh, it's the uh, the Jimmy Jimmy Fallon, Fallon. Yeah, it's and really the Roots good. doing Star Wars music with all the stars of the movie. It's amazing. Oh, okay, thank you. That's what I was looking. Pretty for. incredible, actually. Did you did you see that Hello from the Dark Side uh, Adele thing? This no. Yeah, that was pretty great. <laughs> that that also sounds really great. Good. It's really well sung, which is nice. It's not just Hello some from the Dark Side. It's basically. It. Has a lot of great little referential fan service lyrics in it. Yeah, that's that was Variety's problem with that parody video. It's just mm. a lot of fan service. Yeah, too much fan service. They like their fans and want them to have derivative. A yeah. Derivative. Wait, wait, what's wrong? What are we bashing on? Variety. Oh, well, they can go suck it. That's what I say. <sighs> we deserve a little fan service after. Forty Thieves is off to watch Star Wars. Yeah. I used to like 40 Thieves. Whatever, 40 Thieves. <laughs> no, go enjoy it if you can. I would. If you I know would. what came in the mail while the show was happening? The Jurassic World trailer. Ah. So, I mean, screener. So my moral <laughs> dilemma, I'm safe. I'm safe. Do you want to explain why that is a big yes. deal? Because so, I don't think we talked I, about it on the I got one of those UPS notifications the other day that said you missed a screener. Because uh, Matt gets them for WGA, and I was really nervous because there's reports of screeners going around for Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and I didn't know what I would do if the flippity blinking movie showed up at my house two days before I'm supposed to watch it in the theater. And like Matt, the the conclusion I came to is that I would be divorced upon. Like Matt would divorce me, and so I, because I would definitely watch it. Like there would be no way not to even though it would be against the better interest of humanity. So thank God it turned out to be the Jurassic World screen. Yep. Now you can enjoy that and the stupid yeah. scrolling text that says don't pirate this much yeah. more. Just relax and watch it now. Yeah. Silverblade, her husband gets screeners. That's yeah. why she's getting a screener. Yeah. Uh, it's for writing movies. You He's get a being in the screenwriter. So when you see screens at a movie, her husband writes those. Yeah, I, he wrote those. <laughs> In fact, his movie's on Netflix now if you want to see it. Mark and Russell's Wild Ride. There, I promo. That was my daily promo. Yeah, it's a good plug. It's there for people to watch. Mm -hmm. I got Christmas presents from <clears throat> my sister-in-law. Oh. Cool. Right before the show started. And then she texted me. UPS says it was delivered. <laughs> like, yes, it was to me. <laughs> to me I'm like damn she is on it I'm making sure I didn't know Natalie Portman was going to be Jackie Onassis or Jacqueline, Jacqueline Kennedy oh yeah and what that's great something called Jackie she looks great this is, I was just looking at variety.com again it's fun oh, stories. gotcha I just, that's cool I like her hello from the dark side you gotta hear that it's really good I try to have it right here I'll just play the first little clip. It goes right into it. Hello from the dark side. It's actually really well sung. Like that's yeah. not badly sung. It's just not Adele. That's what. Yeah, but and they changed the lyrics and stuff. Yeah. To be Star Warsy, and the video, of course, is you know video. -y, but I've yet to see anything as good as that Donald Trump thing, though. I assume you've both seen that. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, my gosh. You've not seen the Donald Trump walking around in Star Wars as Darth Vader? No. Oh, yes, I did. I did see that. That was amazing. I think I saw a headline for that and decided yeah. my time was better spent elsewhere. It's so well done, Tom. No, it's, it's really well done. 
It's worth it. The funniest bits aren't even political. They're like when he's trying to push Omaha steaks or whatever. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I want a, uh, uh, instead of a force block Chrome extension, I want a Trump block. Trump block. block. <laughs> want to make me a Trump block Chrome extension? Because that would be great. That'd be great. There's got to oh. be such, such a thing. Yeah. Right? So is uh, Hayward Christensen playing John F. Kennedy? Yeah. Well, let's see. Darren Aronofsky's producing. Um, uh, credits include. Let's see. Yep. Hello. Oh, uh, here we go. Also, I am not Adele. Just. <laughs> oh no, these are other movies they're talking about. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, Natalie Portman, Peter Sarsgaard, who's usually naked if he gets a chance. Uh, <laughs> Scandinavians. What do you do? Ren Herwig and John Hurt. Um, Can I take I, my shit off? <laughs> I assume he's playing. Uh... <laughs> Bugging me. <laughs> he's playing a shirtless John F. Kennedy. Yeah, why not? Twenty seventeen. Yeah. No, Robert Kennedy is Peter Sarsgaard. Oh wow. Um, really. Interesting. Kind of a wimp, a wimpy Robert Kennedy. Doesn't say who Jack Kennedy is. Nowhere. Hmm. There's nobody cast yet. It says. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's because he's still alive. So they're just gonna have him play himself. I have a thing for period pieces of any sort. I think I've decided just now that I'm going to continue uh, conspiracies well after their possibilities are over like mm. john f there was the john f kennedy was never shot he's still alive conspiracy in the 80s right not, no. not very many people believed it but uh now it's even more ridiculous like the idea that he would still be alive um, oh yeah i love those more tragically frozen disney conspiracy yeah. walt disney is still alive yeah. uh honestly think andrew garfield's still alive andrew garfield yeah. interesting all right all of the presidents are still alive let's start that conspiracy <laughs> None of them ever die. Wait, That's why their hair turns red. Garfield away. also Spider-Man? Hold on. <laughs> so we Alex. finally found... Yeah, oh, sorry. Is. The actor who played Spider-Man was Andrew Garfield also. I didn't okay, ever... I think, I think I just mentioned the actual president's name. Then, <laughs> of James A. Garfield, not Andrew mm -hmm. Garfield. I think Andrew Garfield is still alive. He was the one that... Uh, uh, what's his name? Mark Zuckerberg screwed in the yeah. social network. Right. Yeah. Eduardo. A fine president. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just, we just found out, we just discovered the one thing that TMZ will not destroy. What? And that is Star Wars. Oh, they haven't done... Uh... No, because apparently someone is shopping footage of a, quote, pivotal moment in the movie around, oh. and they won't take it. I mean, obviously they don't, they're terrified of Disney slash Lucas Lawyers, but I like to think it's the one line TMZ won't cross. Yeah, they cross a lot of lines. Yeah. The one but... line TMZ won't cross is an intellectual property battle with Disney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Uh, on that breaking news, we're done. I'm out of the post. Did you know, Thanks, everyone. one final thing, Tom. Did you know the R5 droid, the R5 red one? D4. Down, yeah. Uh, I didn't know this was true. We talked about it on the show this morning, but it exploded because it self-destructed so that the because it had a tracking beacon on it or something, and they didn't want the stormtroopers or something. Like, it, it, it knew that R2 needed to do the mission it was doing, and that's canon. That's the lore. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's canon anymore. It's in the it's comic. not actually in the movie. It's oh, in which comic? The new ones. Someone oh, told it me. is? Well, I haven't read them, so I can't say for sure. I have read them, and I don't remember that, but I just may be forgetting it. Oh, and then someone else here says the R5 thing is true. It was on one of the EU books. or the Expanded DVD Universe. I would totally believe that's true, but that does that means it's not necessarily still true. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, still a mystery. This All one's right.